okay, so you have a video on your timeline and you want it to do voiceover. Well, let me show you that without wasting any of your time. First things first, go over to Fairlight, this music icon thingy, and then first thing to do is on this empty space, what you need to do is right click on it and then click on add, well, just hover over add and add track. And then if you're using one microphone, choose mono. If you're using more than one microphone, then choose stereo. In my case, I'm using just one microphone. So I'm going to click on mono and then you will see audio two appear here. You can title this, uh, give it a name. I'm just going to call it voice. If I can spell voice and then we are going to go on the right side over here. What you need to do is under a two where it says no input. You're going to click on that and then you're going to choose input and then on this on, uh, next to source where it says audio inputs, you should see your microphone here. OK, in my case, I'm using the Rodecaster Pro. My microphone is connected to the Rodecaster and then the Rodecaster is connected to the PC. So I'm using uh, the Rodecaster. OK, but for some reason, let's say you're not seeing your microphone here as an audio input. Well, it's probably because you don't have your microphone or your device or the roadcaster or whatever it may be as an input within DaVinci Resolve. So if you are having that issue, let's fix that. If you are seeing your microphone, then you can move on to the next step. But if you're not seeing your microphone, let me show you how you can uh, make sure to add that. You're going to click on DaVinci Resolve on the top right, and then you're going to go to Preferences right here. And then you're going to make sure that you are under the video and audio input output. OK, and then right over here in the center where it says input device, you want to click on that, expand that. And then you should be able to see any device that's connected to the PC that you're using that are that is either webcam or an audio input or whatever it may be. You should be able to see it here. So from here. Under input devices, you want to choose your microphone or your device. In my case, it's the uh, Rodecaster. So as the microphone, I'm choosing Rodecaster Pro as uh, stereo. And then for the output, I also have the Rodecaster because I'm using the Rodecaster as my main input and output. OK, I'm using the Rodecaster for both speaker and microphone. So I click once you click once you pick your microphone here, you hit save right here. And then now if you go back to A2 and click on uh, no input and then click on input, you should be able to see your uh, microphone uh, here. And then once you see your microphone, what you need to do is click on both uh, the uh, both of them. And then what you're going to do is on here, we are going to select the, that, uh, the left and right and then patch them together and then you're good to close this. Let's close this. OK. Now, once we come back to here, we, if you want to hear the original videos audio, then don't mute this. But if you want to mute the original audio video, you don't want to hear that because there might be echo and all that stuff. It might just mess you up. Then you want to mute this uh, audio one. OK, which is the original videos audio. Another thing that you might want to do is uh, mute this right here and let me show you before I mute that so once you mute the original video audio you can arm Oof, that was horrible don't do that what you can do is before you arm that I would encourage you to mute this okay mute this so that you don't hear the feedback once you arm your microphone and also, I would also encourage you to turn this one down before you move forward because it's going to save your ear, okay? Because if you just arm it while it's so high, the feedback might hurt your ears, okay? So arm it. And then, as you can see now, the microphone is the sensitivity within DaVinci Resolve is so high. Let's bring that down, okay? Let's bring that down. We can always bring it up. But it's if the audio is to begin with is so high, then it's kind of going to get screwed up and also maybe bring the microphone away from your mouth a little bit. So that way it's not too close up on you. OK, on your face. OK, once you this is done, what you need to do is 
you clicked on the arm, you armed the microphone, you can hear, you can see the audio waves go up and down. What you need to do is like, if I take this out, you will see that there's echoes, like you can hear the echo. That's why we mute this to make sure that we don't hear any of those echoes. Once you armed that, you adjusted this here, you're good to record. So you're gonna click on this right here to start recording. One, two, three, we are testing this DaVinci Resolve recording thingy. Please subscribe. Anyways, okay, let's stop now. You can hit just stop here. And then if you wanna listen back, before you start listening back, I encourage you to disarm the microphone. And then now you should be able to go back and listen. One, two, three, we are testing this DaVinci Resolve recording thingy. You can zoom in if it's too low you can just bring that up uh click and hold uh this and then you can bring it up please subscribe see that's not good anyways okay let's stop now. okay that's one way to adjust another way to adjust is if we go back to here you see this is still muted on here for some reason yeah it is so you can also normalize your audio by just right clicking on this and then normalize audio levels my videos always go on youtube so i just choose youtube normalize and then it will normalize it to make sure that it's not too loud it's not too low we are testing this i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please consider subscribing to the channel peace out